The Lady Witch by Lady Jane Wilde. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Lady Witch by Lady Jane Wilde. About a hundred years ago there lived a woman in Joyce's country, of whom all the neighbors were afraid, for she had always plenty of money, though no one knew how she came by it, and the best of eating and drinking went on at her house, chiefly at night. Meat and fowls and Spanish wines, in plenty for all corners. And when people asked how it all came, she laughed and said, I have paid for it, but she would tell them no more. So the word went through the country that she had sold herself to the evil one and could have everything she wanted merely by wishing and willing, and because of her riches they called her the Lady Witch. She never went out but at night, and then always with a bridle and whip in her hand, and the sound of a horse galloping was heard often far on in the night along the roads near her house. Then a strange story was whispered about, that if a young man drank of her Spanish wines at supper and afterwards fell asleep, she would throw the bridle over him and change him to a horse, and ride him all over the country, and whatever she touched with her whip became hers. Fowls or butter or wine or the new-made cakes, she had but to wish and will, and they were carried by spirit hands to her house and laid in her larder. Then when the ride was done, and she had gathered enough through the country of all she wanted. She took the bridle off the young man, and he came back to his own shape and fell asleep, and when he woke, he had no knowledge of all that had happened, and the lady witch bade him come again and drink of her Spanish wines as often as it pleased him. Now there was a fine, brave young fellow in the neighborhood, and he determined to make out the truth of the story. So he often went back and forwards, and made friends with the lady witch, and sat down to talk to her, but always on the watch. And she took a great fancy to him, and told him he must come to supper some night, and she would give him the best of everything, and he must taste her Spanish wine. So she named the knight, and he went gladly, for he was filled with curiosity. And when he arrived there was a beautiful supper laid, and plenty of wine to drunk, and he ate and drank, but was cautious about the wine and spilled it on the ground from his glass when her head was turned away. Then he pretended to be very sleepy, and she said, My son, you are weary. Lie down there on the bench and sleep, for the night is far spent, and you are far from your home. So he lay down as if he were quite dead with sleep, and closed his eyes, but watched her all the time. And she came over in a little while, and looked at him steadily, but he never stirred, only breathed more heavily. Then she went softly and took the bridle from the wall, and stole over to fling it over his head. But he started up, and seizing the bridle threw it over the woman, who was immediately changed into a spanking gray mare. And he led her out and jumped on her back and rode away as fast as the wind, till he came to the forge. "'Ho, Smith!' he cried. "'Rise up and shoe my mare, for she is weary after the journey.' And the smith got up and did his work as he was bid, well and strong. Then the young man mounted again, and rode back like the wind to the house of the witch, and there he took off the bridle, and she immediately regained her own form, and sank down in a deep sleep. But as the shoes had been put on at the forge without saying the proper form of words, they remained on her hands and feet, and no power on earth could remove them. So she never rose from her bed again, and died not long after of grief and shame and not one in the whole country would follow the coffin of the lady witch to the grave, and the bridle was burned with fire, and of all her riches nothing was left but a handful of ashes, and this was flung to the four points of the earth and the four winds of heaven. So the enchantment was broken, and the power of the evil one ended. End of The Lady Witch by Lady Jane Wilde